Welcome back guys, I'm Yaku Dubrain and this is your week three on Five Color Fitness. I'm sure that you all are now fully consistent with your training with the five amazing trainers that we've got for you guys. So today with our warm up we are going to work on our hips, spine and legs just before our high intensity program. So first exercise, go seated, we're going to warm up our hamstrings and our glutes. Put your one leg over the other, grab it with your one arm, twist your spine and stretch. You'll feel it in the back of your spine, your glute and your hamstring. The tighter you pull your leg towards your chest, the more intense the stretch will be. And then obviously vice versa, we're doing exactly the same with the other leg. Grab your leg with your left arm, twist your spine, Feel it in your glute and in your hamstring and spine. Cool. Spinal twist, you're going into a lunge position, rest it, and then just turn as far as you can. You don't have to force it. Really just getting your back in line and your spine. And then obviously we'll do the same the left side, twist, just loosening up before we hit that crazy session with Z. And trust me guys, it's going to be eight minute killer. So another nice little exercise that just you get your spine and your hips loose is throwing yourself back, opening your legs, touching your toes. If you can't touch your toes, it's okay. Just reach out as far as you can. Even though just your knees or your ankles, but if you're more flexible, please try and touch your toes. Then we're gonna do the throwback and you're gonna grab your hips at the bottom and keep yourself there for about 30 seconds. You feel the stretch from your buttocks right up to your chaps. Okay, we'll do that for 30 seconds. Okay, and then after that, our last exercise is going to be the spinal glute stretch. Just grab your one leg and pull it towards your stomach and you'll feel the stretch here on your upper hamstring and your glute. Obviously, the more you pull towards yourself, the more intense the stretch become. Other leg. Okay, so we're going into cross body stretch. Take a seat, straighten your legs, take your left leg over your right, and then twist your spine, pushing your knee back with your right hand as far as you can, and feeling the stretch on your hamstring, glute, and a little bit on your back. Remember, the more pressure you at on your knee, the more you feel the stretch in your legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Change legs, right leg over your left. Twist your spine, lock in your elbow and pushing your leg to the back and you will feel it on your glute. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Going into a lunge position. Static, like this. Put your arms in front of you and twist. You will feel it in your lats, your obliques and a little bit on your abdominals. Nice and controlled. Control your breathing. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Change the legs. Hands in front of you. We're doing exactly the same movement, just on the opposite side. Keeping your core tight. That's it, guys. I can start feeling my body is warming up. This is nothing too intense because, like I've mentioned, the workout after this is high intensity. So we want to preserve a bit of energy for that one. That's it. Okay, the rock back throw. Literally, just lie on your back and then throw yourself to the front. Touch your toes all the way back. Touch your toes. Like I mentioned in the explanation, you do not have to touch your toes. This all comes with experience and the more flexible you become over time. This really opens up your hip joints, the great stretch on the back and the hamstrings, getting you ready for the next workout. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. Just the final stretch. Staying in this position. Now you're gonna throw your hips back again and you're gonna try and hold your legs there. This could be a difficult exercise for some. If not, just do a no normal stretch on the hamstrings so you can feel the stretch on the back. Try and then grab your ankles and just push yourself forward. Or you can just throw yourself back, put your arms underneath your bum and just keep it there. Smile. Anybody walks past, just pretend nothing is wrong. Wiggle your toes. That's it. Keep everybody happy. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Then <laughs> spinal glute stretch. Stay in the position. Grab your one leg. Pull it towards yourself. You'll feel the stretch on your upper hamstring. Also crisscross if you want. Grab the leg like that. In five, four, three, two, one. Change legs, crisscross, pull it towards yourself and you'll really feel the stretch on your glute and your hamstring. You don't have to be a professional at this, guys. Really, go as far as you possibly can. Remember, mobility takes time. Even it's hard for me with some exercises, but as long as you do it every day, you'll see you'll just get better and better. And like I've mentioned before, it's so important because it will prevent you from getting injured during weight training or any high intensity training. Okay, I feel loosened up. My hips are loose, my legs are warm, and I'm ready for Z because this next round is going to be really, really tough, but fun. What's going on guys? My name is Jakob de Brain and um, I'm very excited to take you through this high intensity program and I've got this beautiful lady, Z, that's going to join me. Welcome Z. Yes, hi guys, my name is Zintla Masango, also known as Fitness Junkie and you guys can follow me on Instagram on Z underscore Fitness Junkie. And thank you very much Yaku for having me. Yeah, it's very good to have you here and guys you can follow me as well, Yaku de Brain without the E and also follow FHA underscore Fitness Health Active and obviously the red team, FHA Team Red. So, what do you have in store for me today? We've got six exercises that we're going to do. And um, you guys at home, if, remember, you, if you're a beginner, we're going to show you how to do it the easier way. 
and then obviously if you feel like more advanced you can follow what I am doing but in between the exercises we will show you the easier way of doing it. So first of all we're going to start off with jumping squats. I'm just going to show you how to do it and then after the explanation of all the exercises we will start the clock. So jumping squats, put your hands in front of you, literally just jump as low as you can and up. Then obviously if this is going to be hard for you, you can stand on the spot and just squat. Yeah, that's definitely much easier. Yeah. <laughs> so all of these exercises that we're going to show you now is going to run over a period of 40 seconds and we are going to rest for 20 seconds. Then our second exercises is mountain climbers. Get, a, get into a push-up position and literally just run on the spot. If this is also getting hard for you, you can slow down the pace. If you want to go faster, you're more than welcome to do it faster. Okay, so just like that, hey? Show us. Perfect. All right. Um, third one, jumping lunges. Just standing on the spot, lunge, jump, lunge, jump, alternating your legs. If this is going to be hard for you, you're more than welcome to just stand on the spot and do a slower lunge without jumping. Okay. Easy? Then push-ups. So, we all know what a push-up is. Hand shoulder width apart, straighten your back, and then keeping your elbows in line with your shoulders and just pushing your body weight up and letting go down. If this is getting too hard, you're more than welcome to put your knees on the floor and then do a half push-up. These are called girly push-ups, hey? <laughs> For girls! I have, then I have done a few of them in my life. <laughs> okay, then on your back, Z, we're going to do hands to heels, um, bend your legs, and then literally just try okay. to touch your heels. This works, your serratus, and then obviously your whole abdominal area. All right. Do that for 40 seconds. You'll start. Am I doing it right? Perfect, you're All a right. pro. <laughs> okay, then stay there. Okay. Our last exercise then for the high intensity, Straighten your legs, and we're just going to do leg raises. There's obviously a variety. You can either just up and down, or you can crisscross. Okay, so do I have to flex my, my feet, or can it doesn't matter how my no, feet are? No, it doesn't are. matter. The most important part when you do leg raises is just keep your core tight. Okay. Focus on your breathing, okay. deep breaths. All right. And that's it. I'm already feeling the burn, shoot. So that was a quick warm-up. Okay. Guys, if you are ready. I'm ready. And you are ready. I think we're about to start. Let's do this. I'm already out of breath. <laughs> okay, so in three, two, one, let's go. Jumping squats. Oh yes, and Yaku, you said if I can't do this, I can just stand. Stand and do a normal and squat. And do a normal body weight squat. That's it. Alrighty. 40 seconds could be very long. Let's go. I might just join you later. <laughs> Woo! Guys, so remember, deep breaths. You'll start feeling your heart rate going up now. That's what we want. Very good for your glutes. You're working your quads, hamstrings as well. Three, two, one. Woo! That's it. Okay, that was intense. 20 second break. Your heart rate is up. Definitely up. <laughs> okay, so guys, get into your next position for mountain climbers. This is gonna be a tough one. Let's go. Oops. Let's wait around. In five, four, three, two, one. Like I said, you can go as slow as you want. We'll make it a slightly easier. If you want to be intermediate or advanced, you can obviously go faster. Woo! Let's try that faster. 20 seconds, let's go. I want to hear you breathing, deep breaths. Control your breathing. If you're going to control your breathing, you're going to control your heart rate. Okay. Set. And five, four, three, 
two, one. Woo! Yeah. That was intense. Now the tough one. Okay. Jumping lunges. Z, yes. you can show the easier one. Okay. So literally just stand on the spot and a normal lunge. Just. Okay, in four, three, two, one. Guys, if you feel like you're losing your balance, always put your arms out in front of you. It will help you to stay in line. That's it. Try and go as low as possible. So you will start feeling it in I'm your quads. I'm definitely feeling the burn in my quads. Your glutes, your hamstrings. We've got 10 seconds left. Sure. Okay, my glutes Five, on fire. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Sure, we're doing great. Yes, we are. We're doing great. Hope everyone at home is doing great as well. How are you feeling, guys? <laughs> um, have water, always by your side. Have a few sips, making sure you're staying hydrated. Okay, the next one, push up. We're going in three, two, one. Okay, I'll do the girly push up. Okay, <laughs> let's go. But of course, ladies, if you want to bump it up or not, you can still do a normal push up. Of course. Just like this. Come on, guys, halfway. 20 seconds. Let's go. Squeeze those chest muscles. Ooh. That's it. Woo. 10 seconds left. And five, four, three, two, one. Whoa. Nice one. Woo. Yes, baby, yes. Okay, my arms are burning. Look at your arms. I think my arms are gonna look like yakus after this. I think your arms are getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yes. Let's do the easier one. Okay, hands to toe. Gonna work on your serratus and your obliques um, and abdominal muscles. Okay. So on your back. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. So this is side to side. Just try and touch your toes or your heels, depending on how long your arms are. <laughs> so, Yaku, you're telling me if I do enough of these? I can wear a crop top every single day, yes. come summertime. Remember, abs is very important to train. Not just to look good and have a six pack, but it also <laughs> stabilizes your whole body and allows you to train even harder, upper body and lower body, if your whole abdominal area is strong. Ah. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Yes. That's it. Stretch, Ooh. stretch out, guys. Take deep breaths. We've got 10 seconds before we do our last exercise. Leg raises, deep breaths. And we're going five, four, three, two, one. Come on, last one, let's push. Keep your abdominals sure. and your core tight. That's it, deep breaths. Working on that six pack. Sure. That's it, guys. I'm liking this. Oh, come on. My legs 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, Ooh. 6, go. 5, 4, 3, yes. 2, yes. 1. Woo! Woo high five or high 10 for that, actually. Nice one. Well done. Oh. So, as you guys can see, we are out of breath and yes, it was a tough really one. Are. For those that want to push themselves a bit further, you're more than welcome to do another round or even two if you want. Me and Z will do 10. <laughs> uh, what do you think about that? I think so. Yeah, I think we've got <laughs> enough for that. But anyway, guys, we want you to follow us. I'm your happy brain without the E. Um, Zinke underscore fitness junkie and also follow us on fha underscore fitness health active and also team red fha team red yes this was fun this is definitely um, fun you're amazing you are and we'll catch you guys just after the break 
Welcome back guys and I really hope that you enjoyed that high intensity workout that myself and Z just done. As you know my cool downs are pretty awesome and you will feel absolutely amazing after you've done this. Today we're going to really focus on the entire body cooling down from head to toe. And we're going to start immediately with our head tilt so get ready in three, two, one. Just tilt your head to the side. Really feeling the stretch here. You don't necessarily have to hold your head. You can just make sure that the stretch is there. You can take it on the one side and go to the other side. There we go. Sometimes I have to add a bit of pressure. Feel the stretch. Three, two, one. Okay, side bends. As far as you possibly can, one side then the other. Feeling the stretch here on your obliques. Just loosening up. You can go double if you want. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, twists. One side and the other side. Sit. Very simple but effective. Control your breathing. Really feeling looser. Five more seconds, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, shoulders. Roll it to the back. Bring it up, roll to the back. Up, roll to the back. Nice. And then to the front. Another 15 seconds. That's it. Five, four, three, two. Okay, grab hold of your leg. If you struggle to balance, stand against a wall or grab a chair. Just really stretch your the quad. You do 30 seconds aside. Control your breathing. Especially after that workout, this feels amazing. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side. your balance. If you guys want to follow us, please remember Team Red, FHA, Team Red, or at FHA underscore Fitness Health Active, and also myself, Yaku De Brain, without the E on Instagram. Okay, then to side reaches, reaches guys, keep me that heart rate Controlled by your breathing, using up that hip joints. 15 seconds. Almost there, you guys. That's it. In five, four, three, two, one. So guys, I hope you feel amazing. I'm feeling amazing. Please remember to support the red team, FHA Team Red. You're also allowed to support the other teams. But anyway, it was amazing having you guys here. Until next time, cheers.